$19,808.22. There are some caveats. Hello. So one of the things people never really talk a lot about is how much it actually costs to get your private pilot license. And the reason is because there are a huge number of variables. That's why nobody can just say, hey, this is how much it's going to cost you. There's a huge number of variables. So all I can tell you is how much it cost me and kind of break down um, what I went through to get mine. Now in Canada, to get your PPL, you have to have a minimum of 45 hours flight time. So right away, you know you're going to be renting a plane for at least 45 hours. Now at least 17 of those hours need to be with an instructor. So that means right away you know that you're renting the plane uh, and paying for the instructor for at least 17 of those hours. Now within those 17 hours, you have to, there are other requirements you have to have as well. So for example, you have to have three hours of cross-country time with your instructor. You have to have five hours of instrument time with your instructor. Now, one thing you can't do is you can't say, I'm just going to do all 45 with an instructor. You have to have 12 solo hours as well. And of those 12 solo hours, five hours have to be cross-country, that sort of thing. This is all in the, in the, in the regulations. Standard 421.26, if you're curious. So you have to have a minimum of 45 hours. For my part, I had 63 hours, technically 63.1, when I got my PPL. Now, the reason I had so many is twofold. One, a skill. Two, um, I actually got my recreational pilot permit first. Now, the story with that is when I was going through to get my PPL, I wasn't sure if I was going to have the money to actually finish. And I wanted to try and finish it quickly. So I thought, well, if I have to wait until, you know, wait another year to finish something like that, I would like to have something to show for my time. So the recreational permit, obviously the requirements aren't as high. Um, and all of those hours you build when you're doing your recreational permit count towards your private. The, one of the problems I encountered though, is that with the recreational permit, you don't need any instrument time. So I had all my hours to get the recreational permit and pass the flight test and all that good stuff. But when I went to do my private, I had to do all my instrument time. Now that matters because if I had just gone straight to my PPL, I could have done little bits and pieces of instrument time while I was doing other things, right? That's basically what we did with my PPL anyways, is we would go up, we'd go here, go there, do this, do that. And then while I was doing those flights, we'd do some instrument time. So I ended up having to do some extra flights because I needed more instrument time. Now, one thing to remember is that a lot of people take more time to get their license. Some people take less time to get their license. You need to have 45 at a start. Yes, I did mine in 63, but maybe somebody takes 80. Maybe somebody only takes 50. So that's going to change, you know, depending on how good you are at flying. Um, that's obviously going to change how much it costs you. Now, one thing I didn't include in my total because I can't remember how much it costs and I couldn't, couldn't, couldn't be bothered to look it up is the medical cost. You do have to get an aviation medical um, to get your pilot license. Can't remember how much that cost. Um, I'm guessing a couple hundred bucks. Maybe you just go in and you see a doctor and they put you through some tests and make sure there's nothing super obvious that would stop you from flying an airplane. Another thing to keep in mind is that I got my private pilot license in 2022. And one of the things that happened in 2022, in case you missed the news, is Russia invaded Ukraine um, and that sent gas prices through the roof because gas companies will look for any excuse to raise gas prices. So suddenly partway through my pilot training, my cost to rent the plane went up significantly. The good news is one thing I did include in this cost is the cost of ground school, because one of the things you have to do to get your PPL is you have to do 40 hours of ground school. So I included my ground school costs in the $19,808.22 total. And I also included all of the kind of the fees that go around it. So you have to, 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 to write the exams, you have to pay fees. You have to write your student exam, write the radio exam, uh, write your PPL written exam. In my case, write the recreational written exam. Um, you also have to, um, apply for the permit. So there's a fee to uh, to process your permit application. So I included those fees as well. You may also have to pay for the time it takes for your examiner or your authorized person to actually do all the paperwork. There's a, there's a lot that's a lot of paperwork. It's a bit it's a huge pain. So um, that could be that could count up as well. But yeah, that is essentially how much roughly you could expect, maybe possibly all things being equal and they definitely won't be. Uh, you could expect it to cost to get your PPL in Canada in 2022, except it's not 2022 anymore. So who knows? The point is that flying is, a, is an expensive hobby. So if anybody wants to give me all of their money so I can go flying, uh, do feel free. So, I mean, just it'd be like buyer beware kind of thing, right? Like if you're planning on doing something like this, it's a pretty big investment. So um, one thing I did, you know, I didn't include the cost of my headset. For example, I bought a headset for myself. Um, not a super expensive one, but still, still, still bought it. Um, I bought a headlamp. So for night flying, you want to have a little headlamp. So if you don't happen to have a headlamp kicking around, that can, that can um, give you red light instead of just pure white light. Um, uh, and preferably that you can dim uh, so it's not super bright and blinding you when you're trying to fly at night. That's another little cost. So there's a lot of little things that you could definitely buy. But one of the things I didn't include in my total, but I highly recommend if you're going to get a pilot's license is if you can 
record your flights, record your, all of your lessons. I got my pilot license fairly quickly time-wise. I mean, it took me less than a year. But one of the reasons I was able to progress as quickly as I did is because I recorded all my flights. And so bringing the footage home, uh, you know, having the audio, having the video, bringing it home, having to rewatch it, it really helped drill lessons into my head. So if you are thinking about doing flying lessons and you, and you have any way to record it, absolutely record your flying lessons. It will be a huge help. So yeah, there you go. Uh, of all the videos on the internet, here's one that's actually talking about the, the actual cost. Um, whether or not I should have remains to be seen. Uh, but yeah, that's really about it. That's, you know, the fact of the matter is that it, it, it could cost anything, um, uh, but it will cost a lot. That's the, the short answer. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a month. Okay, bye. So I did include ground school in my $19,808.22 total, but one thing I didn't include, and, and I did include ground school in